Horses are on the track for the sixth race at the Illinois State Fair. Win play show exact to trifecta wagering. The Isoba series, this for three-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. No scratches, no driver changes. Here are the starters. Here's number two on the monitors, Hangover Sushi, owned by Kenneth Hughes of New Windsor, trained by Jay Sundin. Sam Witcher is in the race bike. Here's the three, Our Man Dan, owned by Larry Breed of Stockton, and Benita Simmons of Springfield, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Number four, What a Terror, owned by Ron Banks of Cannon Falls, Minnesota. He's the trainer, Craig Banks the driver. Number five, Cardinal Willie, owned and trained by Jason Kennedy of Newton with Randall Finn in the bike. Number six, Bombed Out, owned by Jim Ballinger of Atwater, trained and driven by Brett Ballinger. There's the one, Call Me Peter Pan, owned by William and Norma Spencer of Plymouth, Indiana, trained by Jerry Robinson, the driver, Dean McGee. Here we pick up number seven, Mack and Sox, owned by Irvin Miller of Springfield and Lynn McTaggart of Pawnee. Trained by Irvin Miller, the driver is Andy Miller. And number eight, Mr. Sunbury, owned by Larry Binkley and Michelle Whitlock of Charleston, trained and driven by Larry Binkley. Five minutes to post. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Mr. Sunbury guns out for the lead. What a terror goes with him, followed by Hangover Sushi. And Call Me Peter Pan down toward the inside. What a terror moves up and gets the lead by a length. Mr. Sunbury dives over toward the rail and settles into the second position. Gap of three to Hangover Sushi, our man Dan, Call Me Peter Pan, Cardinal Willie on the outside, then bombed out and Mack and Sox is last, 15 lengths off the lead, heading past the quarter mile mark. They were there in 27 and one. What a terror, leads it by a length. Mr. Sunbury second by just over two. Hangover Sushi goes third. Then our man Dan, Cardinal Willie, call me Peter Pan, bombed out, and Mack and Sox as the field goes single file, moving up the back stretch. What a terror. Shows the way by just a length. Mr. Sunbury continues to stalk the pace from second. Two and a half more lengths. Finds Hangover Sushi still there in third. Our man Dan fourth and then Cardinal Willie. Call me Peter Pan back toward the rail. The half and 56 and two. Bombed out is next to last. And Mack and Sox is trailing the field as they hit the far turn. What a terror. Leads it by a length and a half. Mr. Sunbury getting a good trip second. Hangover Sushi, another two lengths back in third. Then our man Dan, who takes toward the outside, followed by Call Me Peter Pan against the rail. Cardinal Willie moves up on the outside. Bombed out is still a dozen lengths off the lead. Mack and Sox behind him. Three quarters, 124 and four. All of a sudden, what a terror, opens up on a six-length lead at the head of the stretch. He leads it by seven. Mr. Sunbury second, and then Hangover Sushi moving by the eighth pole. Our man Dan is wide, now he goes to second, but eight lengths off the lead of what a terror. Our man Dan running out of time. There's a good six lengths between the top two. What a terror, what a performance. Wire to wire, what a terror. Wins it by nearly five. Our man Dan was second, is close for third between bombed out and hangover sushi. Time for the mile, one minute, 53 seconds flat. Craig Banks hails originally from Minnesota, makes his residence now in Charleston, Illinois. In fact, he even got married earlier this year and his wife Sherry is gonna congratulate him in the winner's circle. And rightfully so. What a terror goes wire to wire for a new lifetime record in 153. And there he is in the winner's circle, Craig Banks, the winning driver. Ronald Banks, the owner-trainer. Gary Williams bred this holy terror gelding in partnership with others. This gelding knocking better than three seconds off his personal lifetime best. The 4-3 exacta, $183 even. And here's the trifecta. The combination of four, three, and six on the trifecta pays $1,414.80. $1,414.80 on the try. The rundown is coming up next.